Hello there. This is Mark Ambrose from Whitton YRC, the church in the high street. Uh, just coming to give a, a little midweek thought and uh, just greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and pray that uh, things are going well with you over this time. Um, it's always difficult because I obviously I want to do something to pick you up and make you smile and, and uh, give you something to think about. Um, but I am very aware that for some people this isn't a happy time and that there's an awful lot of loss um, going around. There's an awful lot of misery um, and there's a lot of struggle. And I'd like to start off with just a little prayer for all those who are going through this at the moment. Father God, your love reaches out to the weak and the poor and the struggling. Just pray that you might reach out even now to those who are battling against this horrible virus. Particularly think of all those people in care homes as lovely older people, mums and dads, grandparents, great-grandparents. Lord, we just lift them all for you and to you and we pray for protection for them all. Lord, we thank you for doctors, for nurses, for all the nursing staff and carers. And we pray that you'll continue to bless them as they um, nurse these people and give them their very best. So, Lord, be their consolation, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I had some slightly better news um, this week. And that is that... Um, um, that a little baby, Toby, has been born to Charlotte and Graham. Nine and a half pounds. A bit of a whopper. Um, um, but Charlotte is incredibly happy. They had him at home. And Charlotte, I, I visited the other day um, and just had to sort of look on from just outside the front door and see the beautiful little baby with his thick black hair. Um, beautiful baby. And congratulations to them both. And thank you all for, for continuing to, to pray for them. Um, that was the good bit of news, and I, <laughs> I always like good news. Um, I was looking the other day, and uh, look, I read the paper for the first time for a few weeks, and on the second page I was getting kind of excited because um, there was a, an article um, saying one of the a scien a scientists from Oxford has, um, has, thinks that we might get a vaccine by the end of September. And I, oh, my hopes just went up and I thought, oh, hallelujah, it's just what we need, some good news. And um, then I, I turned over a couple of pages and uh, there was another scientist saying we might never, ever find a vaccine for COVID-19. Um, my balloon was burst, my bubble was burst. And uh, I don't know, just start to think, you know, <laughs> Where, where, when's this ever going to end? And I guess um, one of the things that the people in the Bible, certainly in the Old Testament, learnt um, was that when all advice and help was given by human beings, that at the end of the day, um, that our real hope comes from God. And uh, I want to just read you um, an article. Uh, uh, it's a reading from um, the UCB um, prayer for today. And um, it's called strength and strategy for living. When the battle continues to rage with no end in sight, you grow weary. Is that where you are today? Are things that once ran smoothly no longer working? Have you done all you know to do, but it hasn't helped? What should you do? Spend more time with God in prayer. Listen to him as he speaks to you through his word. As long as you don't give up within, victory is assured without. It's a matter of replenishing your strength by drawing on God's strength, refocusing your faith towards victory to remember God's promises. And these are some of them. When you feel overwhelmed in trouble, in your marriage, your business, your health, your job or your finances, stand on these Bible verses. This is the first one. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired. Young men will fall in exhaustion, but those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. 
They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. That's from Isaiah 40. We were crushed and overwhelmed beyond our ability to endure and thought we'd never ever live through it. In fact, we expected to die. But as a result, we stopped relying on ourselves and learned to rely only on God. And he did rescue us. We have placed our confidence in him and he will continue to rescue us. That's in 2 Corinthians. Instead of trying to escape the situation, seek God and he will give you strength and a strategy to come out of this stronger. And that's what I'm praying. That is really my prayer, that we will come out of this stronger. And it's lovely to hear people on the phone I speak, when I speak to people, they often say, you know, it's a difficult time and everything, but one of the good things is that I'm a la I'm, I have time for the first time to have a good relationship with my wife, my husband, my children, and my dog. You know, it's just giving that time, having that extra time has become very special to some. Um, some people are doing more Bible reading, they're praying more, praying daily. Um, some people are doing lovely things for other people, practical things, which is again lovely. I had a phone call from Dorothy Dames and, and heard from her the other day, um, quite by accident, that uh, she'd set up this little thing with her daughter where they're, they're making cakes and taking them round to, to, to people, a lot of the older people in the fellowship, people who can't get out so much. Uh, just a lovely thing to do. And that she's not the only, they're not the only ones doing that. I'm just, that was just a phone call I had the other day. There's lots of people doing kind things for others and it just thrills my heart. And I just hope that when we do get out of this, we won't lose that kindness and that love and these relationships that we're developing. Um, of course, you know, we want to come out of this individually changed. We want to be more human. We want to be more loving. We want to be more kind. Um, more compassionate but at the same time as a church um, we don't want to come out this the same we want to come out different we want to come out stronger and so we're seeking God um, to know what to do how to do church in the future how we how we carry on with what we're doing but in a, in a new way in a way that's perhaps more involved with relationship um, lots of things to, for us to ponder about and uh, good, the good news I hear is that possibly um, fellowships will be allowed to open in July this year. Now there's a number of um, prohibitions um, as to what you can and can't do. I don't think you can use a toilet or you can't sit anywhere near each other and so there's going to be a very a vastly smaller attendance. Um, and I'm not even sure we can sing. They'll even allow us to sing but we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens and hopefully and um, when the time comes we'll know a little bit more about what we can and can't do and of course um, we want we'll, we will always do what, what's being asked of us because we want to keep people safe and uh, it's important that we obey the rules that are set out before us so anyway uh, I'm really looking forward to that um, to that day when we can gather together as God's people again and 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 worship together um, but perhaps we still have more to learn perhaps God is still got more to teach us through this period and one thing the one thing that I do hope that we continue to to practice is this this wonderful compassion that I see going around me all the time it's so lovely so so caring and lovely it's lovely people talking to each other and and helping one another and bearing one another up um, I never want to lose that and I just pray that um, in the future that we will always learn you know how to be kind to one another and and how to love one another just as God loves us my prayer is that God will bless you and I hope we will come out of this together stronger. God bless you.